because if you change the size of the buckets, then you're going to have a, a big difference in terms of what the data set's going to look like. And people can use this to glean more information, but they can also use it to, to be a bit uh, deceptive in, in how the information is presented possibly, right? So if I say, so over here, if I say the bin width, if I bring the bin width down to say 2000, I'm lowering the bin width. As I hit tab, I would think that the number of bins would increase, right? So I'm gonna say, boom, notice the automatic number of bins down here now went up to 15. So now I've got 15 bins uh, with, with the 2000 there. Now notice these outliers are getting more extreme as I, as, I, as I make more buckets, right? Because now these outliers are way out here. So you're gonna get like a skinnier looking graph that might kind of, uh, kind of really show those outliers specifically, for example, uh, out there. Now, if you, want those, if you don't want those outliers to be so far out, you could uh, have an overflow bucket, for example. You could say, okay, everything that is over, let's say 79,000, I want you to put that in like one bucket. So now it kind of combined those together. So now it's not giving as much emphasis to those outliers. And you can see that might be good in some cases. I can do the same thing for the bottom. I could say, hey, look, I want you to pull in those to, to like 64,000 or something, right? So now, now the data is being uh being pulled in and and you can see you have a whole you know different look and feel to the data once we start to once we start to do that so so you have to be kind of careful with the parameters that you're going to be putting around your histogram because they can get they can they can they can have an influence on what the data is going to look like obviously so if i reset this we're going to go back to the to the resetted format so there we have those Let's reset this one as well. Uh, hold on a sec. I'm clicking on this. Let's go to this and then I'll see if I can. Uh, this one, I want to go back to automatic. Let's go back to automatic. And so there we have our automatic. And then I'm going to just take the overflow bin off completely, untagging the overflows. And so that that's basically the default uh, that we were given with the histogram so usually the default is pretty pretty not pretty good with the histogram but uh oftentimes you might want to go in here and again the major things that you would be adjusting would be the bend width and then uh and then those basically uh the overflows so we'll get into a lot more detail on that in future presentations for now i'm just going to close this out and note that we have some more options up top so there's multiple ways we can get into different things so these are uh, the axes, uh, this is the axis title. So if I uh, select this item, it's going to give us those titles over here that we can add. And because it's a histogram, you might want the chart title might be the way to go. Because if you were going to name the axis, you know, these would be like uh, the wage amounts and then the number over here. So, so it might just be easier just put like this is wages, you know, histogram or something like that. And then we're going to say uh, the data labels. Oftentimes that's useful to, to be adding. So now you can see the numbers that were counted up. We'll, do, we'll, we'll get to those numbers in a, few, in a bit more detail in future presentations to get a better idea. And we typically aren't going to need a legend because we only have one item on the histogram, right? So we don't really need a legend here. So I'm going to close that. If I select the numbers, note that, that uh, within, within the numbers, you can change, like I could go to the home tab, for example, and increase the size of the numbers if we so choose. We could embolden the number, for example. And so we have the formatting, you know, for, for those. So that so that's the general uh, the general idea of the histogram that we can compare and contrast to the good old box and whiskers.